bow before me. <laughs> hey, YouTube. Uh, Sun Jupiter here. I'm here to talk about... Uh, what am I here to talk about? I'm here to talk about OS... Mac OS X? Uh, Lion. <laughs> Sorry, I was just playing around. So I'm here to talk about Lion. have the preview um, downloaded on my computer. It's running... Uh, right now, you can't really tell, so I'll show you. So we go to about this Mac, and as you can see there, 10.7, and then that's the build of it. Oop, there you go. So it's on the computer running as I spike. So we're going to go over some things here. Um, so we're going to go over the launch pad, and you have launch pad right here as a button. You just click on that. And then pretty much just bring all of your applications that's on your computer at this moment. Now, if you had multi, like if you had a lot of apps and you had, you know, it's just like um, an iPad or a iPhone. If you had multiple applications where it can't fit on the one screen anymore, it'll make a different page. And you would just use your finger to swipe to uh, go to the next page just like an ipad or an ipod or your iphone or something like that now you have the ability to create folders so if i just grab grab this guy here and boom there you go and then you can rename it whatever you want to name it it's like uh, i'm just making random folders here because i can so just like that and then you got your utilities uh, folder, which was a folder to begin with. Um, so you don't really have to do anything in there. Um, but the interface looks smooth, slick, ready to go. Um, and to get out of it, all you have to do is just hit um, escape. And you're done. You're out of there. All right. So let's go to a full screen app. So let's see if we can find something on full screen here. Okay, so let's go to mail. Uh, so this is the mail program. And in the corner over here, there is a button, and that's your full screen button. So you click on that. And then wait for it to go into full screen mode. And there you go. It totally takes up the, um, the screen and everything like that. So right now, these are all the, full, the email accounts I have um, connected right now. So, here we go. Uh, so, this was an email that I've, uh, my payment went through with these guys here for some hard drives. So, there you go. And then, it's it's just like the, um, the iPhone or the iPad where you can continue a conversation. So, if you got multiple emails from uh, one person and it's on the same subject, um, it'll group them all together for you there and i'll leave link i'm not going to super super detailed with this at all um but um, i'll leave a link to the apple website where you can go there and they they go into extreme detail i'm just showing you right now how to do things simple i'm not getting all technical or anything like that okay so that's your mail program so we'll just minimize that for now and then let's see if we can open up iPhoto here. Where did I put that program? There we go. I don't use it a lot. So we'll open that bad boy up. There we go. We'll wait for it to load. I only have four minutes. All right. So what photos do I have here? What the hell? I don't have any photos. Okay. I, I could have sworn I had some photos here, guys. <laughs> but if I did have some photos, all I had to do would just hit the full screen button here. And right now it's running slowly because I'm using the, the screen flow program right now. There we go. So this would be full screen for um, iPhoto. And then... And there you go, double click on that, make it big, boom, 
So you can double click. This is actually a video, a video I did, and there it goes. And you can watch the video like this, and then make any edits that you need to make. And then we'll just hit escape to get out of this guy here. There we go. And we're out. So that is iPhoto. And then preview. Let's see if I can open up something in preview here. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's open a picture of Claymore. Claire. Let's open that up. And there is a picture, right? And then you got that button in the corner here again. So you can just click it full screen there you go and you can work on editing your photos or anything and if you have multiple photos you can just easily move the mouse over there and click on it and again to exit just hit escape and you're done so that is iPhoto okay and it's going to be the same thing with iMovie 2 as well guys uh, time machine, I don't need on there. Get rid of that. And I don't think I've, I, uh, yeah, I don't have any videos on here at all. I have, <laughs> I haven't done any videos on on iMovie on here. It's all screen flow. And um, another feature they have is this um, uh, AirDrop. Uh, pretty much if anybody else is in the vicinity of you um in the same area network and everything like that uh, you can share files with them and pretty much you just hit that icon and boom it turns it on uh if they're in your address book or something like that their picture will show up um on there and then you can just drag and drop the file in there so you drag and drop it and if they it'll prompt them and and if they accept it then it'll start downloading after you're done that's it. You just move off of it and it's and it's that's it. It's gone or just close the window and they won't be able to see your um, your Mac anymore. But one a uh, couple things that that have changed, too, is that then now they're showing your name up here. Um, so whatever your username you put there, that's what they're going to show up top there. And you can just click on that and, you know, uh, what can you do here? You can show the name, the icon um, and things like that. Uh, what else? I'm um, in system preferences, for instance. When I got confused here, once I was on the internet, right here. So if you um, click this here, it'll pretty much move the the, um, the the scroll button. Let's open up to the way you're moving it. So if you're pushing the the scroll wheel forward with your finger, it'll scroll down. It's kind of like inverted, you know, just like a first person shooter type of thing you know what i mean um and then to go up all you have to do is pull back on that so move your finger back to i i, I was like what's going on here the first time but i figured i would go here go to the mouse and there it is so i disable that because i don't like it <laughs> at all so and now uh you can I, I think this was in the previous ones, but when I when I first loaded it up, it wasn't showing which one of the applications were on. So I had to um, I think maybe by default um, it's going to be off. So I had to turn that on there. So to show the light under the programs that are open there. So. All right. OK, so now I'm going to show you uh, mission control, which is pretty much your expose. Right. OK, so to, for it to work, the windows all have to be open at the same time. Yeah, they all have to be open at the same time, up and running. So we'll do that. We'll do that, 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 uh, that. Uh, da, 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 da. Anything else? Anything else? No. Okay, so you pretty much will use um, three fingers to do to uh, activate this. So you have a bunch of windows open. You want to get to a certain program. You can just move three fingers, and then it even groups it. So you have a Keynote, so you know it's Keynote and Firefox pages, mail, numbers, 
uh, Safari, iCal, you know, all of those programs. So you know which one you want to be. And if you want to just go to Dashboard, uh, you can just go to Dashboard and go look up when a movie starts or something like that. And you're like, okay, yeah. And then again, to get out of there, you just hit the um, eject button. And again, it's moving slow. So I can't wait for them to update that to make it a little bit faster. All right. I hit the um, button too many times. There we go. And then you can go back to the desktop. But, yeah, so far um, it's working okay. At the, well, at the beginning when I, I first installed it, uh, the sound wasn't working at all. Um, so, and then when I tried to, in, um, set it to record, um, say my computer, um, noise or sound, it wouldn't do, it wouldn't install the drivers from, um, ScreenFlow. So some problems, some bugs, you know, um, if it's anything like, um, like Snow Leopard, they, they, they keep patching this stuff constantly. So I have confidence in them. And everything like that. So I know I didn't touch on everything today, guys. Um, I didn't talk about, say, the the server side of things. Um, I think I'll just let you guys read read about that. Um, again, I'll leave the link in um, the bottom there for you guys to just go there and um, check it out. Pretty much, but YouTube seems to run fine. All uh, right now, so I have no problems with YouTube. We'll go here, see what's here, and then my video here. And that's a lot of views in one day, so I'm happy about that. A little low on that and that one, but what can you do? Well, this is my page here, so we'll go here. But yeah, this is it, guys. Um, something to look forward to. Again, I'll leave a link to the, in the description if you want to read in detail um, on what the changes are and everything like that. Okay, because this is not a video going in depth. Um, you know, there's other people that will do in depth. I'm just here to let you know what's what's going on. If you want to read more, just well give you the link for that. Um, so yeah. Look forward to um, Lion um, in uh, summertime. So they're going to release that in the summertime. So look forward to that, guys. Um, right now, I'm liking it. It's running fine, slow here and there, but they'll patch that. I'm 100% sure they'll patch that. All right. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe like dislike whichever one you want to do just do it as long as you did you do one of them just do it and um yeah i will catch you guys later um if i feel like i need to make another video on one of the features i'll do that all right peace